Hope I'm saying it right. Indian Malagatoni soup. And I can't wait to make it. It's for my husband. We've decided to eat healthier for uh, 2021. I'm gonna try to make it as healthy as possible. Um, we're gonna need some chicken broth. That's gonna be, I know it's not vegetable broth, but little by little, slowly but surely, we will um, transform into just using vegetarian products. Here we have some lentils, some red lentils. And it the recipe calls for tomatoes, but I didn't have fresh tomatoes, so I have this thick and mild salsa, which has chili peppers and onions and cilantro, which are all ingredients that I'm gonna need for my Malaga Tony soup. I hope I'm saying it right. You need some coconut milk, unsweetened. Um, probably two thirds of the can, um, some cardamom um, spice, um, some thyme, some fresh ground black pepper, turmeric, bay leaves, cinnamon. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any cinnamon in the cabinet, so I'm using a little bit of pumpkin spice. It has um, almost all the same ingredients. Um, some curry powder, a little uh, smoked paprika, and some ginger. I really like using this ginger because it comes in like these little frozen packets and you can actually, um, each one is a half a teaspoon. So it calls for, um, no, each one is a teaspoon, so it goes for two teaspoons, but I love ginger, so I'm gonna put three teaspoons in. And of course, you need a little salt. So here we have, let's see. Um, we have some onions and carrots, um, chopped up finely, some apples and onions, some olive oil, some cilantro, and I'm gonna show you how to cut that cilantro and just diced up some sweet potatoes and some zucchini and some garlic and that's exciting right it's gonna be a really healthy healthy um soup for valentine's day exciting don't forget to use these gloves so you don't cut off the finger while you're chopping all those vegetables like i almost do every single time like, thanks to my future daughter-in-law, she bought me these gloves and I will never cut my fingers again. When you're cutting your apple, you wanna cut them like this size and just core it. Take all the, um, the skin off, all right? And you could eat the apple pieces, they're so delicious. The skin should not be thrown in the garbage. When you're cutting the onion, and cut this way, and then you can just cut it in little dices, like that. You can save some of it. Some of it can be a little chunkier. And then your garlic, you can just, you know, dice it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, because we're probably gonna puree it at some point. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Some people like to use crushed garlic already, but I'm gonna crush everything in the... See why, <laughs> See why I need a... Um, need a, a these gloves okay so when you do your cilantro all you have to do is fold it like this I basically learned this technique from the comedian um, forgot her name already but like, she 
she's ex she's ex she's related to Schumer to Chuck Chuck Schumer. Oh yeah, yeah, Amy Schumer. She has a cooking show with her husband while she was in quarantine, and basically I learned this technique from her and her husband. So you just fold up the the cilantro and then you just cut it, and then you won't cut yourself. And yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this back on this plate. And then I'm just gonna dice the apples. Kind of small, not too big. Right, everything is gonna be kind of tiny. And remember, don't throw away the sea, the the skin. You want to put a half a teaspoon of all these little dry ingredients. Oh wow, there's the aroma from this cardamom is really, really strong. These spices are so delicious. I'm so excited about using, using them. Let's see if I can point the camera into the Instapot so you can see how delicious all the vegetables just cooking together with the sweet potatoes and the zucchini. Mmm, guys, I'm a chef. I didn't even know it. Anyway, after you saute the onions and the vegetables and some olive oil, you can take a little bit out and put it inside the blender uh, to make the texture, the creamy part of the soup. Mm. After you add the chicken broth and the vegetables that you sauteed into the blender, it's gonna get really creamy. Everything tastes so good together. This fragrant maligatani soup is spiced with curry and made from creamy red lentils, carrots, apples, and coconut milk. Um, make a double batch and freeze the rest for leftovers. This soup is packed with a lot of love and hardly any fat at all. So enjoy. Happy Valentine's Day. A light, delicious Indian malagatani soup. It's the one with 